Celebrate the Lord with a good heart. We give you praises. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Raise your right hand, somebody say, My Father, my God. My Father, my God. I can hear you. My Father, my God. Every punishing curse. Every punishing curse. Every curse punishing my life. Every curse punishing my life. Today. Today. You shall be averted. You shall be averted. You shall be averted. You shall be averted. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Curses that punish. Curses that punish. With sin. Sickness and diseases. With sickness and diseases. Curses that punish. Curses that punish. With poverty. With poverty. You shall expire today. You shall expire. You today. shall expire today. You shall expire today. Curses whose punishment is upon me. Curses whose punishment is upon me. You shall be lifted out of my life. You shall be lifted out of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. Open my heaven. Open my heaven. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. My case is urgent. My case is urgent. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Supernatural visitation. Supernatural visitation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Give the Lord a good hand. In Jesus' name. Thank you. We may be seated. Pay a lot of attention on what we have been looking at. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor today is my day. Today is my day. Tell your neighbor, today is my day. My destiny must change. My destiny must change. Somebody say, my destiny must change. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin by looking at Genesis chapter 12 from verse number 3. This is some of the things we are looking at, but I want us to build and dig again into the same. Understanding curses in a deeper way. Before you accumulate blessing, you must understand there are also curses in waiting. And I will bless them that bless thee. So there are people who are an embodiment of blessings. God says to Abraham, I will bless them that bless. I will always bless those who bless you. So there are people who always bless. And may you encounter those people. I say may you encounter those people. People who carry blessings. People whose assignment is just to give you. They don't struggle build blessing you. They just say, I have paid your rent. I have paid the school fees. I will buy you a car. Uh, Amen. If you have never met them, you will start meeting them. You will meet people that will bless you. That is what God is telling Abraham. And I will bless them. There are many. I will bless them that bless thee. And number two, and curse him. I will curse him that curses thee. So there are curses that come from people. They curse people. And God also says the people that curse you, he says they are also due for a curse. And today anyone that plays the curse over your life, may that curse go back to the center. May that curse go back to the center. He says, I will curse him that curses you. So there are people whose work is to curse. The 
will not allow good things come your way. They will not want to hear that you have progressed. They will not want to hear something good is on your way. They, want, they don't want to hear tomorrow you are going somewhere. Their work is to release curses. Their work is to release curses. And he told Abraham and he knew all the families of the other shall be blessed. All the families of the earth will be blessed. Somebody say, I am among the people on earth. I am among the people on earth. I am among those on earth. I am among those on earth. So when you study the Bible very well, it is full of blessing. It is also full of curses. There are people who live prolonged sicknesses. They live for a long time with sickness. 38 years. 18 years. 12 years. All these stories are in the Bible. Barrenness. But there was a solution. There was always a solution. And I pray for somebody here. Your case is not impossible. Your case is not impossible. If you look at the references in the Bible, there were people who had impossible cases. Impossible cases. But solution came the way. Solution came the way. Solution came the way. There is no problem too big that God cannot handle. When God visited Abraham and they feasted lunch or dinner by the time God wanted to leave he said there is something I want to leave in your house Abraham. where is your wife Sarah? She is in the kitchen. Kitchen. This is what you'll tell her. Next year when I come back, I want to see diapers here. Hey, uh -huh. next time I come around, I want to see some diapers. I want to see the cry of a baby. Maybe in your house, there has never been heard the coins falling in the house. But today, money will come. I pray that next year by today, I will hear bells of wedding. May I hear wedding bells in the name of Jesus Christ. Because if there is one who can cast, there is another who can bless. And if I be a man of God, I decree and I declare every cast waiting to mature in your family. It expires today. It expires today. The cast of your mother Cause of your father, I break it in the name of Jesus. Whoever said you cannot rise, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You don't serve a dead God. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a living God. He is the same yes. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God opens a door, no man can close. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. I am here to declare that sorcerer, those witches in your father's house, they shall be laid to rest. I prophesy anyone that swore you can never be married. Whoever swore you can't have a baby. Whoever swore you will never get a job. That devil is a liar. I prophesy against those powers. They shall be laid to rest. They shall be laed to rest. I pray for somebody. I pray for somebody. I pray for somebody. Simama, yes, Nikulani, yes, 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 Alinua Mikono, Akakulani, yes, 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 y
Somebody say, any yes. man, any man, any woman, any woman that cast me, that cast me. Who are you? Who are you? Where are you? Me actually, me actually. Somebody say out, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In Jesus' name. Be seated. I took it. Listen to this. There are people who are an embodiment of curses. Majorly, Asa, the others right in the house. Wako kwa nyumba yenu. You were born with. Mlezaliwa pamoja nao. You were born with. Mlezaliwa pamoja nao. The day your father made you a coat of many colors. Siku ambaye baba yako alikutengenezea vazi la rangi nyingi. Your brothers began to fight. Ndugu zako akakuinukia. Hey. Today they shall be laid to rest. In the name of Jesus. Listen, he says, I will cast him that curses you. Let me read a very interesting story here. Jeremiah 35. Curses that punish. In Jeremiah 35 from verse number 1. Just go little by little and slowly by slowly. Somebody said today. Today the battle is over. The battle is over. Somebody said today. Today the battle will be won. The battle will be won. Hey. The word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim. Neno la Bwana likamjia Jeremiah kutoka kwa Bwana siku za Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord came. Neno la Bwana likamjia to the oracle. Aha kwa oracle. In the days of Uhuru. Kwa siku za Uhuru. That's a simple translation. And you tafsiri ya raisi. I understand. That's a simple translation. Tafsiri raisi. The son of Josiah, the son, the king of Judah. Mwana wa Yosia mfalme wa Yuda. And what was he saying? Neno ni nasema nini? Go unto the house of the Rechabites. Enenda nyumbani kwa warekabi. Hey, Rechabites. Warekabi. You know there were many tribes in Israel. Kuna kabila nyingi Israeli. Some were important, others were not important. Zingine zilikuwa na maana, zingine zina maana. This is a is a, I mean a minor tribe. Ni kabila ndogo. They are not even known. Hawatambuliki. They are not even recorded their events. Hawajanakiliwa mambo waliofanya. But he was told go to the house of the Rechabites. Enenda nyumbani kwa warekabi. And speak to them. Ukanene nao. Bring them into the house of the Lord. Ukawalete nyumbani kwa Bwana. Because this is a tribe. Maana hii ndio kabila. I need to settle their problems from the house of the Lord. Naitaji kushughulikia kesi yao kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Their problem will be sorted in the house of the Lord. Shida yao itashughulikiwa kwa nyumba ya Bwana. And when they come to the house of the Lord. Ukisha waleta kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Take them into the chambers. Wapeleke katika chumba kimoja. Number 1 give them wine. Wapatie divai. Give them wine. Ukawape divai wanywe. The Rechabites. Aha wale wa Rechabi. Give them wine. Wape divai wanywe. Then I took Jazania. Basi ni kamtoa Jazania. The son of Jeremiah. Mwana wa Jeremiah. The son of Habazinia. Mwana wa Habazinia. And his brethren. Na ndugu zake. And all his sons. Na wote. And the house of the Rechabites. Na nyumba yote ya Warekabi. When we are talking about the house. Tukizungumzia nyumba. We are talking about the entire household. Tunazungumzia jamii nzima. The entire tribe. Jamii nzima makabila yote. They were brought into the house. Wakaleto kwenye nyumba. And I brought them into the house of the Lord. Nikawaleta ndani ya nyumba ya buwana. In the chamber of the son of Hanan. Hey, 
in the house of Hanan. Atika chumba cha wana wa Hanan. The son of Ingadalia. Mwana wa Ingadalia. There is a lot of details. Maelezeo zaidi. A lot of details. Maelezeo. Ingadalia. Ingadalia. A man of God. Mtu wa Mungu. Which was by the chamber of the princess. Aliyekuwa karibu na chumba cha wakuu. Which was above the chamber of Masea. Nacho kilikuwa juu ya chumba cha Masea. The son of Shulum. Mwana wa Shalumu. Who was the keeper of ba, the door. Ba wabu. The details are there. Maelezeo yote. Because the story that follows Kile kinafuata is very very good. Nicha muhimu sana. It says, Sema, and I said before the sons of the house of the Rechabites. Aha, na nikaweka mbele ya nyumba ya Rechabi, pot full of wine. Mabakuli yaliyojaa divai. And cups. Na vikombe. And I said to them, drink ye wine. Nikawaambia, ha, nyweni divai. Drink ye wine. Nyweni divai. Now follow me here. Nifuate hapa. But they say, lakini wakasema, we will not drink wine. Hatutakunywa divai. So Jonadab the son of Rechab. Kwa mwana Yonadabu mwana wa Rechab. Our father commanded us say. Baba yetu alituamuru akisema, you shall not drink wine. Mosinywe divai nor you are sons forever ninyi wala wana wenu hata milele somebody say i will cross i will cross generational boundaries generational boundaries there are hey, this is interesting ni akushangaza hii if you follow here today ukifuata hii story leo curses will leave you like thunder lana za kuachilia kama ngurumo you follow me here ukinifuata vizuri they say we can drink wine wanasema hatutakunywa ile divai why kwa nini there was a law pronounced by our father kuna sheria ilitangazwa na baba zetu listen Skiza. we will not drink wine hatutainywa divai jonadab the son of rekab our father yonadab mwana rekab baba yetu commanded us say alituamuru akisema you shall drink no wine msinywe divai neither you know you are sons forever ninyi wala wana wenu milele never shall you be seen in a club msionekane kwa ba that is what was told to Samson. Ndio anaambia Samson when he was born. Anapozaliwa. That he shall never take wine. Usitumie kileo. No cut his hair. Wala kunywa nywele yako. There are laws. Kuna sheria. That restricted people. Zinazuia watu from going somewhere. Wasivuke mahali. Somebody say I will break the law. I will break the law. Somebody say I will break the law. I will break the law. Hey, this is what I call family law. Ndio sheria za familia. My wife loves teaching this. Mke wangu anapenda kufundisha hii. Breaking family laws. Kuvunja sheria za familia. And today we shall break some of them. Leo hii tunavunja zingine. Some of the laws are curses. Sheria zingine ni laana. They said we can't drink. Anasema tutakunywa divai. We can't drink. Hatuwezi kunywa. Our fathers. Baba zetu. Said forever. Walisema milele. We shall never be seen in a night club. Tusionekane kwa baa. We should not be seen where people drink. Tusikaribie mahali watu wanalewa. It was a restriction. Ilikuwa ni uh, sheria. And on top of that. Na juu yake. Somebody say I hear you. I hear you. Aha. He said Anasema, not only wine. Sio tu divai. Neither shall you build wala msijenge Hey you didn't hear me. Haukusikia hiyo. Msikunywe divai na ya pili nisione mtu akijenga kuishi katika nyumba za kukomboa. Aja, 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 aja. Sema kila sheria ya baba. Kila sheria ya baba. Leo inavunjika. Leo inavunjika. Uh, Amen. I need 50 serious people. Nahitaji watu 50 wa kumaanisha. Wanasema imetosha na tosha. Ana ya baba. Yes, 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 yes. Ana ya baba. Yes, 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 yes. Iliyonifunga. Kunjika. Kunjika. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. Yindo bo 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 sha. Dio hiyo. Dio hiyo. Yes. I need 50 people who will say enough is enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want 50 people who are saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I break the curse. Tala prahadia zo. Roskati katalia darabosa. In Jesus. Pachina la yesu. Bisite. Atuketi. 
Hey. Aha. He did not only say we should not drink wine. He also said, Neither shall you build house. Heavenly. Aha. Somebody said, Today. Today. I break the law. I break the law. That is why Diposa. many want to build. Wengi but you can't build. Hawezi jenga. Hey, you want to start a business. You can't start. There is a law. There is a law. If I be a man of God, I break the law. I break the law. I break that law. Whoever says you can't have a baby, that devil is a liar. I see twins. I see triplets in your house. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Amen. He said, You Rechabites. Come for deliverance. You'll be delivered today. But before that, we will have Holy Communion. We can take communion. Our Father said, We shall never take wine. And as if that is not enough, Kama hiyo itoshi. he also said, Neither shall you build to house. See nyumba. Somebody say, Every wicked father. Every wicked father. Hey, say my wicked father. Wicked fathers. You shall release me. You shall release me. Wengine wana pesa lakini hawawezi jenga. Aha. Huwezi jenga. Aha. What is going on? Shida ni nini? The day you build. Siku kijenga. Ukiingia kwa hiyo nyumba unaanzana na magonjwa. Aha. Na hukwa na ugonjwa kwa nyumba ya kukomboa. Ukiwa nyumba ya kukomboa una hata umezi panado. Aha. The day you build. Siku na jenga. You must be in a hospital every week. Lazima wende hospitali kila wiki. The devil is alive. Shetani ni mongo. I know what I'm talking about. Najua kile nasema. The day I build my mother a house. Siku ni mjengia mama yangu nyumba. Two rooms. Nyumba rumbili. Furnish everything new. Nikamwekea kila kitu. Kitanda mpya, mattress, ma blanket, vikombe, kila kitu mpaka carpet mali analala hapo chini. Safuria mpya, TV nimevuta mpaka stima mpaka kwa nyumba. The day aliingia wiki ya kwanza akaniambia uka. Kuja. Mwili wao wako atimweka. Hii mwili yangu sio mzuri. All the other days he was in a madhouse. Akiwa kwa nyumba ya matope. The body was okay. Mwili ilikuwa mzuri. The first month. Mwezi wa kwanza. Mwili wao wako atimweka. Hii mwili yangu sio mzuri. Kuma daigira nyumba. Tangu niingie nyumba mpya. Nigwa muri moyo wangu. Ndio hii ugonjwa ilianza. What is this? I said, we prayed. Even Kina Pastor Harrison, Pastor Mark used to go and pray. A good house. You do a shopping of 5,000 every week. And you send them pesa every day. You send 3,000 now. In the evening. We are not going to be here. We are not going to be here. In the evening. Niangalilia kitu hapo. Hey, there are powers. Nguvu. I couldn't understand. Singeelewa. I said, "Okay, reke dore dimo." Wacha niangalie simu. In the evening I sent 3000. Jioni tena 1300. Tomorrow morning. Kesho asubuhi. I find a missed call. Napata missed call. Hello mami. Ha, hello mom. Nego nete missed call. Niliona ulikuwa unajaribu kunitafuta. We na kanyamu. Uko na kakitu. <laughs> Somebody say I scatter the devil. I scatter the devil. Somebody say waste us of my destiny. Waste us of my destiny. Today, today, you shall be buried. You shall be buried. Two months, three months, four months. Miezi mitatu mine. She became worse. Akawata vibaya zaidi. To come pele ko hospitali zote na juu. X-rays, every test. Pigwa picha na kuangalia kila mahali. Na shida. The only thing the doctor will say. Madakiri kile wange sema. We think it is gas in the stomach. Nafikiri yako na gas kwa kwa tumbo ya gas. Gas. Hewa imeja kwa tumbo. Somebody say gas. Gas. And you're not a gas cooker. Sasa we si gas cooker. Una tuwa wapi gas? Jua madakiri wanza kupatia ugonjo ya yote. They can tell you any disease. Wanaza kuambia kila ugonjo. Si yako na gas. So wana peo dawa za kutoa gas. And there is nothing like that. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. But she always said. Ma kila mara ngesema. Kumada tonya nyupe. Tangu ni ingie nyumbampia. Hapo ndio mili yangu ilibadilika. What is happening? Inamanisha nini? The recabite curse. Warekabi wakona laana. Hey. 
the day you build and stay ukiwahi jenga uingie you will now enter into a school of medicine unajisajili kwa chuo cha madawa these things are hidden mambo haya yamejificha and people just assume them watu wanayapuuza you just ignore unapuuza but they we are waiting for a time to happen walikuwa nangojea wakati ya tukio to some of you kwa wengine wenu is not even a house hata sio nyumba the day you marry siku utakayeolewa the day you get the first baby siku unapata mtoto wa kwanza that is when the cars mature lana hapo inakoma that is the curse i'm calling the punishing curse ndio lana zinazoadhibu they can't kill haziwi they are called punishing curse ni lana za kuadhibu watu listen skiza so she told me my mother akamwambia akaniambia mama yangu like a joke and you bury him my father wacha nirudi ile ya matope ile i said this house you will get pneumonia nikamwambia huko utashikwa na ugonjwa wa baridi ah ah and you can't argue with all that hawezi bishana watu wazee akarudia nyumba yake ya mwanzo within minutes dakika kidogo sasa nasikia niko sawa eh niko sawa sasa psychological mawazo yake psychological mawazo yake anamwambia is a power ni nguvu that want to transfer her from the new house to the old inakutoa kwa nyumba mpya kurudishe kwa ile mzee so when you move to the old house ukirudia ile mzee the car stops punishing lana inaacha kukuadhibu that's how it works inafanya kazi because vile. it is an invisible power maana ni nguvu haionekani immediately moving with her to sufuria and a few things mara kiama mtoto wake tudogo eh nilirudia kiguo sasa hata nasikia niko sawa it is no sickness sio ugonjwa it is the curse that was punishing him ni lana ilikuwa inamtesa hapo kwa nyumba mpya but when she moved out again akirudi kwa ile mzee the curse stopped lana inamwacha today leo hii the curses that will stop kuna lana zitakoma i said there are curses kuna lana that will stop out of your life zitakoma kwa maisha yako somebody say every punishing curse every punishing curse in my life in my life you shall scatter by fire you shall scatter by fire amen the rekabi they were brought into the house of the lord wanaingizwa kwa nyumba ya bwana and for them to be accepted na ili wakubalike they say number one will serve you with wine wanasema tutawapa divai it is a welcoming drink ndio kinywaji cha kuwakaribisha but i say no 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 wanasema hapana we can't drink hatuwezi tumia there is a statement in our family pana maandiko kwa familia yetu they said i wakasema ah hatuwezi tumia divai our father baba zetu spoke something walisema kitu na sio divai tu we cannot also build a house wakasema pia tusijenge nyumba we can't build hatuwezi jenga we can't build hatuwezi jenga that is why people live in rented what, houses watu wengi wanaishi kukodisha manyumba the rest of their years. maisha yao yote i've seen people die nimeona watu wakifa from rented houses kwa nyumba za kukodisha na maombolezi kafanywa hapo kwa US state. Aha. And the only place that would take them is to take them back to mashamba. Na mahali wangewarudisha ni kule kijijini. Without building anything. Bila kujenga chochote. Houses were to be built immediately they die. Nyumba zingejengwa mara wakafa. Zama tope zinajengwa haraka haraka na walevi huko western ama central walevi wanajenga haraka haraka. Ndio by the time mwili inafikishwa inaingizwa kwa hiyo nyumba ilale kwa hiyo nyumba siku moja Somebody say after today after today I set the matter I set up the matter The recap I say We can't take wine Hatuwezi tumia divai Our father said Baba zetu alisema Neither shall you build house Wala msijenge nyumba Sasa hii inashita inashangaza kwa sababu Mungu tena pia naye alisema you shall build houses. Mtajenga manyumba. So laana inakuja inasema hamtajenga. Aha. Baraka zinasema mji ubadilike uwe city. Wengine wanasema hauwezi badilika uwe aha, city. Aha. Why? Kwa nini? These are powers that want to keep people poor the rest of their life. Ni nguvu za watu wakae maskini milele. Neither shall you build houses. Wala hamsijenge nyumba. Number 3. Ya tatu. No so seed. Wala msipande mbegu. Eh hey, kuna watu hawalimagi. Wanaishi tu na chakula za mitaani. Aha. Hana shamba anywhere. Akitoka tu kazini napitia mama mboga, 
nyanya mbili sukuma mbili shingo moja ya kuku <laughs> just in the street mambo yake anamaliziaga tu mtaani hana shamba hawezi panda anywhere what is that nini nio you shall not build house no so seed msijenga nyumba wala msipande mbegu they don't plow anywhere wala msipande mizabibu they can't hawezi what is happening nini nafanyika there was a restriction pana sheria hamwezi pita hapa hamwezi vuka Aha. you can't hamwezi it is a father's curse ni laana ya baba it is a restricting order <laughs> ni sheria ambayo inazuia hey jesus christ Aha. That is why. Ndiposa you find people in a church for 20 years. Unapata watu kwa kanisa miaka 20. They have never changed. Hawajawahi badilika. Because even the pastor is not aware. Mchungaji pia hana habari. What is going on? Kile kinaendelea. These are hidden powers. Ni nguvu zilizojificha. These are things that are fighting humanity gradually. Ndio mambo yanapiga mwanadamu pole pole. Gradually. Pole pole. Gradually. Pole pole. By the time somebody dies mtu anapokufa you give a history of sickness and diseases unatoa tu historia ya magonjwa na maradhi yake stories that have no value hakuna kitu cha dhamana kwa historia yake they even skip some of the obituary stories zingine wanaruka mnamo mwaka wa 1970 akaenda shule ya upili 1980 ndio akaenda form 1 wameruka story yote hawajui kama alianguka ama alifanya nini hiyo miaka yote baada ya kumaliza kidato cha 4 ndio alipatana na mpenzi wake na yule anaitwa mpenzi ukimwangalia <laughs> you are shocked walipatana na mpenzi wake hey, mpenzi wake amekuja slippers kwa mawazishi yani history yako inaenda ikikatu wakati hata waelezi kama ulienda polytechnic walikaa na mpendwa wake kwa miaka 15 na akakutana na mauti yake tarehe sita pale wao memorial hawaelezi details kwa sababu details are horror movies <laughs> ni sinema ya kushangaza <laughs> these are horror movies sinema ya kushangaza hizi just summarize your story wanaweka tu kwa ufupi and they end up by saying ameacha mjane na watoto ine. hawezi taja kuku ama mali yake ama alikuwa na nini never hawezi Finally Mungu ailaze roho yake mahali pema huko kwa mapeponi. Ana si binguni alazwe mahali pema peponi. Very funny biography of a dead person. Historia za mtu aliyekufa mbaya. Somebody say I shall change the story. I shall change the story. Somebody say I shall change the story. I shall change the story. So this Rikabai Hawarekabi There are things that we are restricted. Pana mambo walikuwa wamewekewa vikwazo. They can't be found in some places. Wasipatikane maeneo fulani. They can't build houses. Wasijenge nyumba. So seeds. Wasipande mbegu. No plant vineyards. Wasipande mizabibu. Nor have any but all your days you shall dwell in tents. Mbali siku zenu zote mtakaa katika hema. Baba anasema wakae kwa hema miaka yao yote. Somebody say I shall break the law. I shall break the law. Na hema huzeeka. Aha. So ina maisha ikizeeka unanunua ingine. Isipo kama hutanunua uweke viraka. Dwell in tents. Mtakaa kwa hema. That you may live many days in the land where you will be strangers. Pate kuishi siku nyingi katika nchi ambayo mtakaa ndani yake. Somebody say I break the father's law. 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 Sema sheria ya baba. Sheria ya baba. Listen to what these people say. Sikiza kile walijibu. Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father. Nasi tumeitii sauti ya wanadamu mwana wa Rekabu baba yetu. Sheria ya kuninyanyasa sitati. Sheria ya kuninyanyasa sitati. <laughs> Waliti hiyo sheria. <laughs> Our father he know that he charged us. Kwa kila kitu alichotuamuru. Tunati. Alisema nisioe kutoka Centro siwezi yoa Centro. Alisema nisioe Rift Valley siwezi yoa. Alisema nisioe msichana mweupe. We have so many funny laws. Kuna sheria mbaya sana. Alisema nikitakuwa nisioe msichana mfupi. 
Very funny laws. Sheria za kushangaza. We have obeyed Tumeiti all that he has charged us. Yote aliyetuamuru. To drink no wine all our days. Tusinywe divai siku zetu zote. We our wives our sons nor our daughters. Sisi wake zetu wana wetu na binti zetu. Hatuwezi onja. Aha. Na akatuambia hiyo sheria ambayo tumeti nor to build houses. Wala kujenga nyumba. We can't buy even a plot. Hatutanunua hata ploti. No build houses for us to dwell in. Wala kujenga nyumba zetu za kuishi. Neither have we vineyard. Wala tutapata mizabibu. Nor field. Wala konde. Nor seed. Wala mbegu. Baba alisema. Uh-huh. And there are people who are under curses of a father. Kuna watu wako chini ya laana ya baba. If you hear somebody say baba amesema. Ukisikia mtu akirudia hivyo. Kama baba amesema, kama baba, kila kitu ni baba. These are people who follow curses from a father. Ni watu wanafuata laana za baba. Somebody say kila laana ya baba. Kila laana ya baba. Leo itavunjika. Leo itavunjika. Kila misemo ya baba. Kila misemo ya baba. Aliyosema kinyume na maisha yangu. Aliyosema kinyume na maisha yangu. Today I overrule them. Today I overrule them. I overrule them. I overrule them. I understand. Amen. So when you study this kind of a scripture, ukifuatilia andiko kama hili, which many of us may have never come across. Wala wengi wajaliona. You have never even read that. Haujawahi hata lisoma. But these are things hidden in the Bible to explain to us. Ndio mambo yamefichwa kwa Biblia kutuelezea. That these things are real. Yako mama mohaya ni halisi. This is just one of the families. Ni sehemu tu ya jamii moja. But there are other families who suffer the same. Kuna jamii nyingi zinateseka mambo kama haya. Where you find eight women in one house. Ya kama unapata kina dada wanne kwa nyumba moja. No one can get married. Hapana ambaye anaolewa. And they have no default or no defect. Na wote hawana shida yoyote. They are not lame. Sio viwete. They are good women. Ni wazuri kina dada. No man can look at them twice. Lakini hakuna mtu anawaangalia mara mbili. Never. Hakuna. Nobody. Hakuna. Men that are educated. Wanaume ambao wamesoma. But no one stays with the wife. Hakuna ambaye anaweza kaa na mke wake. I know of a magistrate. Namjua yule ambaye ni magistrate. Magist. Uh-huh. He divorced more than five times. Ametalaki mara tano. Na ni magistrate amesoma ni mwanasheria. Mwanasheria na yeye anafanya kazi kwa koti kuja uh-huh. Kenya. Uh-huh. Amefukuza mabibi anaoa huyu anatupa, anaoa huyu anatupa. And people can't explain what is the problem. Wezi elezea shida ni nini? It is a family curse. Ni laana ya familia. So one of the subjects that need to be exposed. Moja wapo ya somo lazima ifichuliwe. As much as possible. Kama vile inawezekana. Is the message on hidden curses. Ni ujumbe kuhusu laana zilizojificha. If these people we are not called in the house of God. Kama hawa watu hawangeitwa kwa nyumba ya Mungu. And explain those things. Na waeleze mambo yale. Nobody would ever have known. Hakuna mtu angejua. They would only be asking. Wangekuwa tu wanaulizana. You recabites. Warekabi. Kuna maploti hapa. Aha. Kwa nini amununui? Aha. Hizo sisi tuko sawa. Tuko sawa. Lakini hawaelezi kwa nini? Aha. Wanaambia kuna ploti ziko hapa na kuna bypass itapitia. Aha. <laughs> Unajua Kenya kila mahali ukinua plot unaambia kuna bypass. Hata ukinunua hapa nyuma utaambia bypass itapita hapa. Hata ukinua hapa keratini utaambia bypass itapitia hapa ya kutoka Mombasa. That is what goes on in Kenya. Hiyo ndio lugha ya kuuza mashamba Kenya. Nobody would have known. Hakuna mtu angejua. The problem with the recabi. Shida ya warekabi. Mvua inanyesha hawalimi. Hao wako tu sawa. Wakipitia kwa mama mboga achukue miguu mbili ya kuku shingo moja nyanya mbili na mboga imekatakatwa yeye atenda tu straight kuweka jikoni tunaiva yeye ni hangangani maisha made simple Aha, because maisha. baba aliweka mipaka Aha. baba aliweka mipaka you would look at the recabites and say hi ungewaangalia warekabi na kusema these people are very good ha watu wako sawa We are in a party eating and drinking. Ni sha- katika shughuli za kula na kusherekea. Lakini kuna mambo hawezi fanya. Any time he wants to take a bottle of alcohol. Akitaka kuchukua kileo. He remembers. Anakumbuka ile sheria. Father said. Baba alisema. Father said. Baba alisema. When they want to buy land. Akitaka kununua shamba. And build a house. Ajenge. Hey, Father said. Baba alisema. 
And that is how they live the rest of the day. So this subject is a subject or a message so that you understand the operation of curses. How curses operate. The forces behind curses. How curses travel in families. How curses travel in families? Root causes. How curses germinate? How curses have arrested destinies of people? How to identify and overcome them? The various curses that affect believers. Believers. Look at Joshua 6.26. Tazama Joshua 6.26. Look at Joshua 6.26. After the destruction of Jericho. The walls collapsed. Follow this. When the walls collapsed. Because if you read. Let, let, let's look at verse 1 first. Then we'll come to 26. How was Jericho? The Bible says. Linasema, Jericho was a straight. Shut up. Hey, shut. Because of the children of Israel. No one went out and none came in. There are cities you can't go in. You can't even start a business. They are shut in the spirit. And you can't explain what is wrong. Jericho was straightly shut up. Yeriko ilikuwa imefungwa kabisa. No one went in, no one came out. Hapana aliyeingia wala kutoka. Because of the children of Israel. Kwa sababu ya wana wa Israeli. So there are cities even if you try to open a business you can't. Pana miji hata ukijaribu kuweka biashara hauwezi. They are closed in the spirit. Imefungwa rohoni. You will just be a wanderer in that city. So that is what was happening. So Israel could not capture the city. So Joshua had to give them the uh, strategies. And he said, you'll go around the wall. Every day once. Quietly. The seventh day, Siku ya saba, you shall go round six times. Mta izunguka mara sita. And the seventh time, na yomara ya saba, blow the trumpets. Mta please zile tarumbeta. And the walls will collapse. Na kuta zita anguka. That is a strategy. Ilikuandi yombinu. So there are battles you win by keeping quiet. Panavita unashinda kwa kunyamaza. Others by prayer. Zingine kwa maombi. There are prayers. That gives you victory. Kuna maombi na kupa ushiri. There are battles you win by sacrifice. Kuna zingine vita unashinda na dabihu. There are walls like Jericho. Kuna kuta kama za Jericho. They only hear voices. Zina T tu shout. The day you shout. Si kuna pata shout. The day you shout. Una papiga shout. Kaya bitis is katas. Ugonjo akisukari na kuachiria. Can I hear a shout of Amen? Piga shangu ya Amen. An Amen like thunder. Amen. Again. Amen. Can I hear sevenfold amen? One, amen. two, amen. three, amen. four, amen. five, six, amen. seven. Amen. 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 Immediately they shouted. Mara walipopaza sauti. The walls collapsed. Kuta zikanguka. Collapsed. Kuta zikanguka. After they collapsed. Bada kuta kanguka. That is when a declaration was made. Tangazo likafanywa. That is 626. Sari wa sura sita msari wa shina sita. Joshua adjured them that they say. Yoshua kwa wapishe kiapo wakati ule akisema. Cast be the man. Ala aniwe mtu. Hey, cast be the man. Allah knew him too. So there are people who can release curses to punish. Kuna watu wana zachilia laana za kuwadhibu. Punish. Laana za kuwadhibu. Joshua is a military leader. Joshua ni kiongozi wa kijeshi. He led military people in battle. Anaongoza watu karika vita. 
This time Moses had died long time. Wakati huo Musa tayari amekufa. So he's the one now taking nations. Nie anachukua mataifa. He is now capturing territories. Anachukua maeneo na miji. And this is one of them. Ndio mojawapo hii. After they took over Jericho. Baada ya kuiteka Jericho, he said, anasema, cast be the man. Alaaniwe mtu. Hey. Alaaniwe. Aha. Hey. Mimi niko hapa kusema na abarikiwe mtu yule. Amen. <laughs> You only need to counter attack those things. You overrule them. You overturn them. And you will enjoy every blessing in this world. And there are people here. More than 50 people. That is what I hear. That curse we release you today. May that curse be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Break. 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 Punja <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Break it up! Break! 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 <laughs> Jesus! Hey, man! Hey! Aha! If there is a conducive environment for a blessing, Kama kuna mazingara mazuri ya baraka, the blessing will land. Baraka inashuka. But as long as there are opposing powers, Mradi kuna nguvu zinapinga, The blessing want to rest but there is an exit. Baraka nita kuingia, kuna kitu kinazuia. There is a blockage. Pana kitu kinapinga. There are people who go for interviews. Pana watu anda interview. And they are never called. Hawa itiwi kazi. Then they can't explain. Hawa ezi elezea. A man engages you. Mtu ana kuchumbia. But after that they will never talk to you. Bada hii hawa kuongeleshi tena. What happened you can't explain. Hawa ezi juwa nini kilifanyika. At that time. Wakati ule. Joshua invoked this curse. Joshua kachilia hii lana. Hey. Hey. Akaichochea. Aha. He invoked. Akachochea. He provoked. Akaichokoza. This curse. He lana. Hey, kwa hivyo lana ziko zinahitaji tu kuchokorwa. Aha. Baraka ziko zinahitaji kuchokorwa. Aha. <laughs> Bwana atukuzwe sana. Amen. He invoked this curse. Akachochea hii lana. What was the curse? Lana ni ipi? May the curse of the Lord. Na lana ya Bwana fall. Imwangukie. May the cash of the Lord. Lana ya Bwana. Fall. Imwangukie. Unaona hiyo? Aha. So kazi yangu ni rahisi. Aha. Nimeshajua kuna lana ilikuangukia. Aha. So jinsi ya ku deal nayo nikitoa hii lana. Iondolewe. Unaolewa. Amen. That's what people don't know. Ndio watu wafai wanafaa kuelewa. Alisema iangukie. Aha. Mutie yote. Aha. Sema kila lana. Kila lana. Iliyoniangukia. Iliyoniangukia. Today. Today. Out. Out. Aha. Look at that translation. Tazama tafsiri hiyo. Joshua invoked. Joshua kachochea. This curse. Hii lana. What did he say? Anasema vipi? May the curse of the Lord fall on anyone. Na lana bwana imwangukie yoyote. Imwangukie. Aha. So kila mtu aliyeangukiwa na lana ya shosho. Aha. Leo hiyo lana itatoka. Yes. Hiyo lana ya anko. Yes. Itaondoka. Yes. Because there are relatives. Pana watu wa familia. That said in this family. Wakasema kwa hii familia. We will not marry strangers. Hakuna kuwa watu wageni. We will not marry other tribes. Hatutoana na kabila zingine. The day you trespass. Siku ulipoenda ukaolewa. Then the curse. Lana ikakuangukia. That is what many don't understand. Wengi hawaelewi vile. May the curse of the Lord fall. Lana ya Bwana imwangukie on anyone. Kwa yoyote. Anyone. Yoyote yule. Who tries. Atakaye jaribu. Ajaribu. Aha. Na kuna watu wanaambia hebu jaribu kuolewa tujue wewe ni mwanamke. Aha. Jaribu kuolewa. Hey, Jesus Christ. Aha. Atakaye jaribu. Si yule ata fanya chochote ni kujaribu tu kutest the water 
na test the what ku test what does that mean yeyote atakayejaribu kwenda moranga kutafuta shamba ya kununua atarudi akiwa hai yeyote atakayejaribu kupeleka mahari tianaoa watakufa wakirudi wote that's what happened people show. die in road accident watu wanakufa kwa ajali za barabara they went to pay dowry walijaribu kwenda kulipa mahari and on their way back wakirudi ajali wote wakafa they all die wote wakafa and weddings are cancelled na harusi zinakomea pale just that one act kwa hiyo tendo moja why kwa nini cast is the man alaaniwe yote who will take dowry atakayejaribu kupeleka and has not paid atakajaribu kupokea ile na ajalipa mahari that is a very common phenomena in kikuyu custom ni kitu ambacho kinafanyika sana kwa wakikuyu that i cannot take dowry siwezi pokea mahari if i have not paid dowry kama sijalipa mahari hey it is a saying ni msemo and it is very painful na ni wa uchungu zaidi am i talking to somebody when i was 8 7 years old nikiwa miaka 7 8 we went to my grandmother tukaenda kwa nyanya yangu in kinango kule kinango early 70s miaka 70 kule and my father in his drunken state baba katika ulevi wake he found my shoshu was cooking gideri akapata nyanya anapika gideri and he went to the pot and he wanted to put it down it broke akajaribu akitaka kuiweka chini ikavunjika my shoshu said nyanya akasema you will pay me that pot utanilipa nyungu yangu and that was silent ikanyamaza hivyo kanyamaza vile 40 years later miaka 40 baadaye my mother said mama akasema what your father is suffering kile baba yenu anateseka is a pot he broke ni ile nyungu alivunja and he never paid na hakuilipa shosho is dead nyanya amekufa now he is in the verge of dying sasa anaelekea kufa my father died baba alikufa he never paid hakulipa nyungu so what we did kile tulifanya we had to travel to kambazi ilibidi twende pale kambazi and get this small girl tukachukua ubinti mdogo who is in the fifth generation wa kizazi cha tano and give her 300 tukampa shilingi 300 tumelipa ile deni ya baba yetu I understand Aha. so that things may be well ili mambo yawe sawa oh pastor si Yesu alilipa msafi gani mpatie kaisari yaliyo yake aha na umpatie Mungu yaliyo yake right is as simple as that ni rahisi vile give to caesar mpe kaisari what belongs to caesar iliyo ya kaisari and give to god what belongs to na mpe mungu iliyo yake that is what many don't understand wengi hawaelewi vile spoken hidden curses maneno yaliyonenwa yamejificha kwa laana they are killing people gradually yanamaliza watu polepole gradually polepole by the time people discover watu wanapokuja kugundua it is something that was said 60 50 40 years ago ni maneno aliyosema miaka 60 70 iliyopita and the devil has no problem with your salvation na shetani hajali umeokoka you are born again umeokoka no problem hakuna shida he has a problem with the bloodline ana shida na ukoo that is where he follows from hapo ndio anafuata let this curse rest upon hii lana ikae juu ya mtu hey who tries to rebuild atakaye dhubutu kujenga the town of jericho mji wa yeriko so this is a national curse ni laana ya kitaifa that whoever rises to build atakaye jaribu kuinuka kujenga 
the land or the city of Jericho. Ama mji wa Jericho. What will happen? Nini kitafanyikia? This is how the curse will punish him. Hivi ndivyo laana itamwadhibu. At the cost of his firstborn son. Kwa kufiliwa na mwanawe wa kwanza, he will lay the foundation. Ataweka misingi yake. <laughs> is Joshua speaking? Ni Joshua anazungumza. The day a man tries. Siku mtu anajaribu to dig foundation here. Kuchimba msingi hapa. There will be death in the hospital. Kutakuwa na kifo kule hospitalini. Of his son. Cha mwanawe. So some of these sicknesses. Magonjwa mengine tunayaona. Don't assume. Usia puuze. He said the person try. Atakaye jaribu ule mtu atakai je baada ya sisi kufanya hii kazi ya kuzunguka hapa kila siku uh -huh. tumezunguka hapa kila siku alafu kuja ujenge hiyo ukuta tumezunguka mpaka tukaumwa na kichwa you remember how they went round uh -huh. <laughs> ukuja ujenge ukuta ile tumezunguka hapa kila siku tukiumwa na kichwa yeyote atakai jaribu uh -huh. atakai jaribu the first thing is msingi akichimba mzaliwa wake wa kwanza atakufa supposing na kama he had dedicated and redeemed the firstborn ange mweka wakfu na kumkomboa mzaliwa wa kwanza he would not have died ange kufa pale <laughs> he would have been exempted angeondolewa kwa ile laana he says this is what will happen hii ndio itafanyika this curse will rest look at this hii laana fall on anyone itaangukia yeyote na ufuata hapa itaangukia yeyote atakayeamua kujenga jericho Aha. so hii laana haipigi huyu ime Aha. rest hapa Aha. lakini yule ataadhibiwa ni mzaliwa wa kwanza huyu mzee ana shida lakini hii laana it will punish the firstborn itaadhibu mzaliwa wa kwanza so there can be a curse in the family anaweza kuwa na laana kwa jamii na ni wewe peke yako tu unateswa na hiyo laana because the curse has rested but it is targeting one or two people lana imekaa kwa jamii na inalengea watu wawili you wonder why others don't make it in life unashangaa mbona wa wengine hawafanikiwi maishani at the cost of his firstborn kwa kufiliwa na mzaliwa wa kwanza he will lay its foundation atajenga misingi yake number 2 ya pili at the cost of his youngest son kwa kufiliwa na mwanawe wa mwisho he will set up the gates atainua malango yake hey I seeing how curses are released. Uh -huh. This is what we call a punishing curse. Ndio laana ya kuadhibu hii. It will not punish this man. Haitamguza yule mtu. It will punish the children. Itaadhibu wanawe. You can also put it this way. Unaweza iweka hivi pia. It will bring sorrow in your life. Itakuletea uzuni by killing your children. Kwa kuua watoto wako. That is how that cast was hivyo ndivyo laana ilivyowekwa ifanye kazi it was hanging over jericho ilikuwa imeninginia juu ya jericho it was just in jericho ilikuwa imeninginia jericho you do business wewe fanya biashara the cast will not interfere laana haitakusumbua you do anything else ukifanya kila kitu the cast will still never affect laana haitakuadhiri but lakini 700 years later miaka 700 baadaye that sama hiyo 700 years later miaka 700 baadaye first king 1634 wafalme wa kwanza 1634 follow this closely fuata hii kwa makini hey 700 years later miaka 700 baadaye this is what happened ikafanyika hivi it was during his reign that heel a man from bethel rebuilt jericho ni katika utawala wake Hieli Mbedheli akaijenga Yeriko. Huyu mtu hata hana habari kuna laana. Aha. Yeye ametoka Bethel. Amekuja Jericho. Aha. So wewe unatoka mahali umetoka, unakuta area hii watu hawajengi nyumba, wewe ndio unaanza kukimbele mbele. <laughs> ya kujenga nyumba ya gorofa tano. <laughs> Look at that. Zama hiyo. This man came from Bethel. Huyu mtu ametokea Bethel. Rebuild Jericho. Akaijenga Jericho. Follow me. Nifuate. When he laid its foundation. Alipoanza kuweka misingi yake. It cost him the life of his oldest 
akafiliwa na mwanae mzaliwa wa kwanza Are you seeing that? Nazama hiyo. 700 years later. Miaka 700 baadaye. The curse matured. Lana ikakoma. It was waiting. Ilikuwa inangoja. The person it shall punish. Mtu ambaye itamwadhibu. 700 years. Miaka 700 baadaye. When this man called Hiel. Wakati mtu huyu Hieli arrived in Jericho. Alipofika Jericho with a V8. Amenunua gari yake V8. Mercedes Benz. Ana gari yake ya Mercedes Benz. Na bling bling. Aha, ni kofi ya ajabu. America. Aha. Akaangalia Jericho. What's going on here man? Hapa kuna nini watu wangu? Hey, demons don't fear your English. Mapepo haya haya tishu na kizungu chako. He looked at Jer- what man what going on here in Jericho? Hapa ni nini Jericho mjengi? You don't build houses here. What's wrong you people? You mad? <laughs> Mna kichaa. <laughs> Mapepo inangoja achimbe msingi aha hiyo kizungu itaskata <laughs> the first thing you should ask yourself kitu cha kwanza unafaa kujiuliza mbona 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 watu wajengi mbona wacha kiherehere aha i understand kiulize Nimekuta huku watu wajengi ni nyumba za matope tu. Na sio matope ya manize bricks za matope ndio watu wanajenga nazo. Why? Kwa nini? Just because you have money. Kwa sababu tu una pesa. Not every place. Si kila eneo requires your money. Inahitaji pesa zako. Eh? Don't land. Usiingie in mashambani. Aha. Unabebea watu wa kijiji mineral water. Uh-huh. Where do you go to the washrooms? Hapa cho msalani watu wanaenda wapi? Do they know what is washroom? Wanajua washroom ni kusema nini? Do they know what? Hao wanajua cho inaitwa cho ya ndung. I'm talking. You can go to the village na mineral water asking, can I have serviette? Nipatie ni serviette. Do they have serviette in the village? Kijijini kule. There are powers in the village. Kuna nguvu za kijiji. You land back in the city. Utarudi mjini. Utashindwa what has scattered your life. Aha. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. This man called Hiel. Huyu mtu Hieli did not take time to go to the council. Hakuchukua wakati kwenda kwa wazee. And ask them what is wrong here. Awaulize hapa kuna shida gani? What is the history of Jericho? Historia ya Jericho ni ipi? And what happened at this walls collapse? Nini lifanya kuta hizi zikaanguka? What was there an earthquake? Kulikuwa na tetemeko wa ardhi. If he sought the elders. Kama angetafuta wazee. They would have said. Wangemwambia? We hear Tunasikia There used to be children of Israel who passed here. Kulikuwa na wana wa Israeli walipitia hapa. And there was a man called Joshua. Na kuna kiongozi wao aliitwa Joshua. He said anyone trying to build. Akasema yote atajaribu kujenga. Their children will die. Watoto wao watakufa. Ah. So that is what he said. Hiyo ndio alisema. Bas, give me two weeks. Nipe wiki mbili. Let me go to the mountain of Delhi. Wacha niingie mlimani. <laughs> Ah wacha niende mountain Aha. ni release anointing na oracle Aha. nitajenga hapa yes. hapa mahali palikatazwa yes, 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 hapa yes. ndio nitajenga amen somebody say yes yes if he had that in mind kama angekuwa na ule ufunuo he would have saved his life angeokoa maisha yake but because he had money maana alikuwa tu na pesa he got from the tender of NYS. Ambaye alikuwa amepata kwa kazi ya NYS. Akaamua atajenga na hiyo pesa. Uh-huh. Hey, the cars struck immediately. Lana ikampiga mara. Look at this. Tazama hii. The Bible says. Ili nasema when he laid its foundation. Alipoanza kuweka misingi yake. Hey, the workers were not attacked. Wafanyikazi hawakushambuliwa. No 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 no. Aha. Uh-huh. The workers had no problem. Wafanyikazi hawana shida. It is the one who has the vision. Ni mwenye maono ya kujenga. The workers had no problem. Wafanyakazi hawana shida. But the person himself. Mwenyewe kujenga. Because the curse was targeting one person. Lana inalenga mtu mmoja. Whoever. Yeyote. Rises to build. Atakainuka kujenga. This is the cost. Ndio hii gharama yake. At the cost of the life 
of his oldest son. Akafiliwa na mwanae mkubwa. So some of us don't ask ourselves. Why did the firstborn die? Mbona mzale wetu wa kwanza akafa? What happened? Nini kilifanyika? What happened to our last born? Nini kilimua mzale wetu mdogo? Our third born. Mzaliwa wa tatu. Ask yourself what is this pattern? Jiulize ni mtinda upi huu? Every cash waiting to kill. It shall go back to the sender. It shall go back to sender. Somebody shout back to sender. Back to sender. I can't hear you. Back to sender. Louder than your neighbor. Back to sender. Hey, these things are there. Mambo haya yako. Just the way they are a blessing. Vile tu kuna baraka. They are also oppressing powers. Kuna nguvu pia za kuonea watu. At the cost of his firstborn. Kwa kufiliwa na mzaliwa wa kwanza. He laid the foundation. Ataweka misingi. And secondly. Ya pili. That is the cost of his life of his youngest son Segub. This all happened according. Haya yote alifanyika kulingana. To the message of the Lord concerning Jericho. Na ujumbe wa Bwana kuhusiana na Jericho. Spoken by Joshua. Ulionenwa na Joshua. Somebody say whatever was spoken. Whatever was spoken. To my life. To my life. A hundred years. A hundred years. Fifty years. Fifty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. Ten years. Ten years. Five years. Five years. One year. One year. Whichever way. Whichever way. Today. Today. Stop. Stop. Amen. We shall stop those curses from propagating. They will not continue in your life. Why are these things written in the Bible? So that you may know. There is what is called territorial curse. This was just a curse in Jericho. The curse in Jericho. Lana ilikuwa inapiga Yeriko. And strange enough. Na yakushangaza. This cast did not just end there. Hiyo lana ikuishia tu pale. I didn't want to go this direction. Sikutaka kuenda hivi. But it's still okay. We look at 2 Kings chapter 2. Mfalme wa pili, sura ya pili. From verse 18. Kuanzia 18. After Elijah is taken up to heaven. Baada ya Elia kuchukuliwa mbinguni. Elisha is coming back. Elisha anaingia. He met the people, the sons of the prophets. By that time, ule, the Bible says, when they came again to him, tena, for he tarried at Jericho. Yeriko. Somebody say Jericho. Yeriko. <laughs> he had tarried in Jericho. Pale Yeriko. He said unto them, Akawambia, Did I not say unto you, Go not? Je, What was this? These people, Hawa watu, part of the sons of the prophets. When Elijah was taken, they said he didn't go. We are going to look for him in the mountain. <laughs> so now they have come back tired. Sasa wamerudi, That's when now he's telling him, didn't I tell you not to go? I saw him go. I understand me. Amen. So that is Jericho. Ni Jericho pale. So this is what happened. Hii ndio ilifanyika. And the men of the city. Na watu wa ule mji. Which city? Mji upi? Which city? Mji upi? I can't hear you. So the men of the city say to Elisha. Watu wa mji wakamwambia Elisha. Behold. Tazama. The situation of this city Mahali pa mji huu is pleasant as the Lord sees. Ni pazuri kama Bwana wangu unavyoona. You may think it's a good city. Unaweza dhania ni mji mzuri. As you may see. Vile unaona. But the water is bitter. Lakini maji yake ni machungu. And the ground is barren. Na ardhi ni tasha. Where did this land get barren? Ilitoa wapi utasa huu? Ile land ya Joshua bado ilishika ardhi. Aha. Lana ya Joshua ilishika mji na ikashika hata maji. Aha. Hey. Now nifuate hapa kabisa. Aha. Nifuate hapa kabisa. Are you understanding? Tazama hii. The ground is barren. Inchi ni tasa. Hiyo laana haikuwa tu mzaliwa wa kwanza 
na wa mwisho hiyo laana ilipenya kwa ardhi ikafanya ardhi isizae na maji ikawa mbaya so tunahitaji msaada wako aha are you understanding amen so what happened nini lifanyika and he said to them akawaambia bring me a new cruise nileteni chombo kipya and put salt therein mtie chumvi ndani yake brought it to him wakamletea sema the power of salt the power of salt sema nguvu za chumvi nguvu za chumvi nimefunza mambo ya chumvi hapa mara mingi aha wangapi tunakumbuka although we we'll still mafundisho inaporudiwa na inarudiwa ndio ufunuo unaongezeka aha Listen. Tukiza. Akawaambia nileteni bakuli iko na chumvi. Aha. Aha. And he went forth unto the springs of the water. Akatoka akaenda mpaka kwenye chemichemi ya maji. Sema fire for fire. Fire for fire. Sema fire for fire. Fire for fire. When Elisha had that. Elisha aliposikia hivyo. He looked into history. Akaangalia historia. Hey. I love this. Napenda hii. When he looked at history. Anapoangalia historia. He realizes. Akatambua. Joshua was a number 2. Yoshua alikuwa namba 2. From Joshua, I mean from Moses. Kutoka kwa Musa. Follow me close. Nifuate kwa makini. Joshua. Yoshua was number 2 from Moses. Ni namba 2 kutoka kwa Musa. Now. Sasa I am Elisha. Mimi ni Elisha. I am also number 2 in rank. Mimi pia ni namba 2 kwa kiwango. But my number 2 Namba 2 yangu has double ina ina maradufu. So the curse of Joshua. Lana ya Joshua. It can be broken. Inaweza vunjika. The curse of Joshua. Lana ya Joshua. Can be broken. Inaweza vunjika. But if the anointing was one. Kama upako ni moja. I could not have challenged Joshua. Wenda nisipinge Joshua. Sasa hivi I have a double spirit Nina roho maradufu my father Ya baba yangu Therefore Sasa hivi Where is that spring of the water Iko wapi hiyo eneo la maji I carry a double anointing Nina upako maradufu The curse of Joshua Lana Joshua It has no power Haina uwezo And I pray for someone Naomba mtu hapa The curse of your soul Lana ya nyanya It has no power Haina nguvu The curse of your uncle Lana ya mtomba It has no power Haina nguvu I am following after my father Nina fuata Bishop Makarioki. Makarioki. Therefore, Waibu. every family cast. Whoa, wasting your life. Somebody say pray. Somebody <laughs> say pray. Puja hiyo lana. Puja hiyo lana. Ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo. Puja hiyo lana. Ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo inavunjika. Ndio hiyo. Lana, lana, lana. Ni kondolo boza. Sambore sambore sambore. Prayer prayer. Lana. Fujika. Lana. Lana. Where are you? Lana. Lana. Where are you? Fujika. Lana. Ya soso. Lana. Ya soso. Sambore se pre. Prea. Prea. Pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray. I want to hear you pray. Lana ya soso. Lana ya guka. Lana ya baba. Lana ya maeneo. Where are you? Pray. Soso koto yo do 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 do. Yo 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 yo. Number one. Number two. Number three. Four. Five, six, seven. In Jesus' name. Amen. 